Okay, so the Cyberpunk 2.0 update was released today. With the update, NVIDIA released the DLSS 3.5 patch in driver version 537.42. Me being an INTP, of course I was curious to see the visual as well as performance differences between all the different ray tracing and scaling options available now. So what I've done is set up a 7800X3D and 4090 configuration. I've kicked the RAM up to 8000 CL36 and I've maxed out all the graphical settings and I'm comparing ray reconstruction versus path tracing versus cycle ray tracing versus no ray tracing. Personally when I compare all four it's very difficult for me to tell any difference even with no ray tracing, the game looks incredible. The only time I can really tell the difference is in the reflections. So when I put them all side by side, it's easy to tell. But if I'm gaming, I'd honestly probably take the extra 100 frames and those reflections. So what I'm going to do now is remove the metrics off the side and play all four settings side by side so you can see the graphical differences or non-differences in my opinion. But I mean, those incremental differences do matter. It's just that, at least in this title, for me, I don't think it's worth the performance loss. Nonetheless, ray reconstruction is a super impressive technology and I'm excited to see more titles adopted. So I'll let this benchmark run out and then I'm going to share some stats and do a little statistical analysis. So stick around for that or use the timestamps to fast forward. Alright, so as you can see, there's a giant difference between using path tracing, ray tracing, and no ray tracing. Almost 50 FPS difference between the three settings. With path tracing, it, with, with path tracing, enabling or disabling ray reconstruction really doesn't do much. It keeps it in the same ballpark, but I think visually it looks better with ray reconstruction, so I don't see any reason just to leave only path tracing on if you're using path tracing. So I think the decision comes down to whether or not you're a visual junkie or you're a frame junkie. And if you're somewhere in between, there's a good balance using only ray tracing. In terms of stats on the CPU side, the usage is much higher with no ray tracing, in the middle with ray tracing, and lowest with path tracing. And the temperature and power Statistics follow that trend as well. On the GPU side, it's the opposite. There's lower GPU usage with no ray tracing. And between ray tracing, path tracing, and ray reconstruction, the GPU stats were very similar, except that ray tracing uses less power. So that's all I got for this one. I'm trying to make a push to make this a full-time thing. So I really appreciate all the views, likes, comments, you know, telling your friends about my channel, being a part of my Discord, all of it. Every interaction means a lot to me. And thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next one.